number two. Um, this is where the uh, power supply works. Um, you tested everything, there's good continuity, there's no short circuits through your devices, um, but your power supply is topping out, like it only get up to like maybe five volts, um, or after it gets over like 11 volts, it shuts out. Um, so this is gonna be the, the scenario to help you guys kind of work through that. Um, and really what it has to do with is resistance. Um, is, you know, these, these power supplies are set up for tattoo guns and obviously they're not hooked up to tattoo guns. Um, so what will happen is, is because the current is zipping through here so easily, what will happen is, is once you cross the threshold of your circuit, it'll start back feeding too much wattage in your power supply and it'll usually clip out. Um, and uh, as if you guys looked at the ohm uh, section, how to calculate ohms or test ohms, um, we found out that this thing is about two and a half ohms, okay? And we know that this is a two amp power supply. So, you know, just finishing out Ohm's law says, you know, okay, 2.5 times two is gonna be five. So we know that it's only actually gonna take about five volts to heat this up, okay? Um, because it's such a, such a small circuit. Um, and we'll just, uh, we'll test that and just kind of see how it goes. Got the foot switch down. Um, and we have it set to about six right now, uh, and it's easily cutting through uh, this foam. I mean, you can see all the smoke and stuff coming off of it. So, um, you know, right now, right now I have this at six volts, which, you know, as we can tell is actually too hot, um, you know, for this, and it gets very fumey. Um, so that's all we really need. Um, but one of the things, I'll, I'll zoom in and show you, what's gonna start to happen is, you may notice that you have, say you have your power supply turned up to like, um, I don't know, 12 or 11, I don't know, 14, okay? And as soon as you hit the foot switch, you'll see that it'll just drop way back down to about five volts or six volts or so. And that's because of that back feed. Um, this, this thing is trying to regulate itself. Now it's still able to cut, I mean, you can still cut through this stuff without a problem, um, you know, but it's always better, you know, not, not to overload your power supply. Now here's the other scenario, is what we'll do is we'll, we'll turn it down to one, okay? Press the foot switch, and then I'm just gonna gradually turn this up higher and higher and higher, and what you'll see is, is that even though, you know, I'm already past a quarter turn, it won't actually get higher than about six. Now, you can see where this is still starting to steam and get really, really hot, um, but, uh, you know, we definitely, definitely don't need it that hot. Um, but that's, you know, once again, it's just back feeding through. Now, um, if you actually want this power supply to go to a higher voltage, you have to put an inline resistor. So now that I have that, um, you know, resistor uh, in, in series like that, um, you know, once it's all wound, is now what I'll do is, is I'll depress the foot switch and I'll be able to turn this higher. You know, now we're getting up to uh, 10 volts, 11 volts. It's the same exact setup, the same everything. I just added a little bit more resistance, um, you know, with, with that resistor. Um, and you can see that, uh, you know, this is still cutting just fine. Um, but, uh, you know, we didn't really need that. We didn't need that with this particular setup. But if in the event that you have where your power supply is clipping out, let me see if I can get it to do it. No. Um, you know, that should be it as far as, um, you know, for this, this particular issue, um, you know, as far as the power supply clipping um, or not letting you go much higher. Um, so, you know, when you put in a resistor like this, what it does is, is it allows you to move more wattage through the whole circuit. Because you might have where if this thing is clipping out, 
at like, you know, six volts, but your wire actually needs 12 volts to heat up, putting one of these resistors in um, actually allows you to dial above this wire. So it, it, it lets you, um, uh, you know, kind of increase the efficacy of your whole unit before this clips out. So that's kind of covered in the first scenario um, when you should actually be ensuring that you have the proper power supply for your circuit. Um, but you know, six of one half does the other. So uh, let me know if there's anything else.